Aitutaki, a small and remote island that is nothing short of a heavenly piece of paradise in the middle of the Cook Islands, is home for the third annual Cindy Mosey Island Odyssey 2008 Adventure. Visiting this untouched beauty and experiencing everything it has to offer, from the amazing white beaches to the pristine waters and their passionate culture. The event organiser and yet a true legend in women's kite surfing, three-time world champion Cindy Mosey is with us today. So Cindy, can you tell us what inspired you to do this event? Well, I guess um, many years ago when I was competing, there was a group of women that got together and we really wanted to do an event for women which helped people to push their limit and, um, and extend their own boundaries. So that's what sort of started this whole thing. Okay, we're here with Laurel Eastman from the Dominican Republic. So Laurel, tell us your role in what you're here to do this weekend. Well, my main focus is with the coaching. I am the head coach of the event, and part of that is because I was a competitor together with Cindy and Christine, and then I transitioned into running one of the largest kiteboarding schools in the world in Cabarete. So um, Cindy brings me over to kind of lead the coaching and help facilitate this phenomenal opportunity where girls can train with some of the best kiters in the world. This is one of the unique parts of this event, is you have world champions, Christine, and Cindy, each three-time world champion. You have Anya, who is winning the Freestyle World Cup in 2008, and you have coaches like me and Emma, who have done seasons competing, as well as lots and lots of coaching. So Kirsty, on the safety duties today, do you think you'll have many rescues? Well hopefully not Mel, um, the wind is cranking today and everyone's riding well. That's our fingers crossed, yeah, should be fine. Christine, I believe now you spent half a year in Australia, which I'm very excited about. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I'm just as excited about it. I love being in Australia. I came to Western Australia about two years ago for the first time. I loved it and we decided to buy land and build a house there. And now I just spend my off time, which is the Australian summer there. Okay, Christine, so where do you see women's kiteboarding heading? Over the past two years now, I see more and more girls at the beaches, which is very exciting for me. I think because the equipment is so much better now, it's much easier for, kite, for girls to get into the sport. And also because we are doing so many girls clinics, I think more girls see that it actually is a good sport for them. And I think it's true. Kiteboarding is such a good sport for girls that I can only hope that I will see even more girls on the beaches and also in the competitions over the next few years.
England has brought to us one of the best women kite surfers in the UK, Miss Emma York, and she is lapping up the amazing conditions here in beautiful Atataki. To be able to come here and go kiteboarding in warm water with wind every day is really awesome. I believe you and Anya were able to go out yesterday and see the amazing clams and the pearl farms. Yeah, that was really great. Just to come here and go kiteboarding in itself is awesome, but to experience stuff I've never seen before and only ever in documentaries was really special. It was good. So Emma, last night you and I were lucky enough to be able to experience some of the amazing cultural dancing back on the island with the little local hotties. Oh yeah, that's definitely got to be one of my highlights so far. We don't get guys like that in the UK. Yeah, it was good to experience the dancing and the traditionalness of the Cook Islands. It was really great. And it wasn't quite as easy for us to wiggle our butts like the local ladies. Oh no, it wasn't. That was really hard and they definitely showed me up, but it was good fun. <laughs> Anu, the conditions look amazing here today. Yeah, we're here in Natutaki. We've got um, trade winds which just kick in for nine meters. We've got an island surrounded by flat, like amazing water. So Anu, you're from Poland and I hear you're busy, busy traveling on the world tour. Can you tell us about where your position is and what ranking you are at the moment? Uh, yeah, this year I'm doing the KPWT World Tour. Um, after five or six events, I'm leading the overall ranking and I'm first in freestyle. Now in one month we're going to have a last event in Morocco and if I do good there I'm going to be a world champ. If you like me and you like speed, Cindy puts on a mean border cross race up next. Well that wraps up yet another inspirational and super enjoyable Cindy Mosey Island Odyssey adventure. To leave with many memories and friendships and awesome kiting in the island of Atutaki. <laughs> <laughs>